they just took away everything, everything that we just worked for, they just took it away and, and it caught us so off guard, it, it took the rug right out from our feet. And I was so angry. I said, that's it, it's over. So you guys, did you start the business together at that point? Mm -hmm. or are you guys doing a business together or not yet? About six months. Six yeah, months. Yeah, not so much. I mean, he was in the industry already and he was established and I, when I started, which is like, I understand when couples are in business and trying to work together, it's so important that you build your identity separate. So I would go in there and just try to do my own thing just to see, you know, if I can really do this, you know, without depending on anything from him. And I learned a lot about it and um, at that point, right when we were getting it going, we were starting to work together, is when, you know, the worst happens. We got everything taken away from us and I didn't agree with it, I didn't like it. But I understood um, at that moment, because I, I remember being so crippled by what happened to us. And I didn't understand it, but I knew that one thing I did trust is that nothing happens without a reason to it. There's a purpose for it. And I remember uh, when we had that, you know, fateful meeting, you know that meeting I'm talking about. And I, I, uh, once we got home and, and once it sank in that what are we going to do, Nothing, they, they just took away everything, everything that we just worked for, they just took it away. And, and it caught us so off guard, it, it took the rug right out from our feet. And I was so angry because I earned that stuff and that was ours. And I was devastated because I'm looking at, at one end, uh, how are we gonna take care of my, our, our son and our family? How are we gonna do all these things? And I couldn't even take the pain, it was, it was so dreadful, that pain that hurts so bad that you literally feel like you lose entire hope. And it was going for three days straight and I remember him on the phone and, and he'd be like, I'm gonna, we're gonna find what our thing is. And he'd be on the phone just calling and calling and calling. And every conversation he had, I was like, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. Because I knew the next decision that we made was so critical. And then I remember I just couldn't take the pain and I went to the, the bathroom and I, I got down on my knees and I said, Lord, I'm gonna trust you on this one. It hurts really bad, I'm trying to trust you. And I just need you just to give me some relief in my heart and just tell me that there's a sign, like there's something that you're pushing us toward for a bigger purpose. Please, please just give me a sign. And I'm, I'm not lying when I say this. Literally two minutes later, you called him. Wow. Two minutes later, you called him. And, <laughs> and it, and it, and it wasn't just you calling him, it was the conversation that you had and it was like, it was the, the culture we're looking for, the environment, the people, everything was it. And the mission, the crusade, it was just everything was aligned. And then the biggest game changer was <coughs> you actually wanted my opinion on something, which, you know, before it was just kind of Matt, 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 Matt. And it was no opinion from me. I'm just there to, you know, stand next to him. But no, you said, no, my voice mattered. And then you actually had Jennifer call, Jennifer Bet David. And Jennifer called me and I'm like, wait a minute, like, you mean you're an actual couple that works in the business? You guys each separately have your own thing. I said, that's it. It's over. I said, you give us an opportunity, we're going to make you pay for what you did.